previously on the NoVP channel. Come ahead, spray. Shut up! And coming up. Like, look at this thing we've got to give you immediately. La la la. <laughs> la la la. Toblerone, or whatever it is. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimpia channel is made possible thanks to our gorgeous patrons who get access to exclusive Garbo. And thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Thank you, the snafu! Welcome to the land of fame and sex. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? I was just thinking to myself, Welcome what's to like a land. Halloween song? Not that. Playing games. Halloween fun. Making out. <laughs> what? I don't know, I'm trying to make up a Halloween song. I think you're very delirious. I might take this off actually. Halloween I do like song. this, but I keep doing this. It looks a bit dirt, don't mark, it's bad for sound. Yeah, you I never know, learn. that's why I'm gonna take it off. Welcome to Halloween Us, looking cute. You can't, we can't say that about ourselves. Oh, that I think we look, steal it. I think we look cute, fresh, down to clown, and it's another faves and shitters. Halloween style, despite, Woo! your faves and shitters aren't anything to do with Halloween, are they? No, when I did go into this trying to think of like Halloween specific, no. specific faves and shitters, but I couldn't think of any. I've got no, I didn't think about that at all. No, like, we no just, one. And I've got no one. <laughs> We're just doing a faves and shitters. Uh, if you're new to the channel, this is our version of Oprah's favourite things that we've just stolen directly from underneath her. I love bread. Wait, hang on, pause the tape. Stop the tape. This is very alarming. Stop, roll the tape. Switch the station, change the channel. Madonna. Do you remember? Right. Look, oh, no, oh, we'd be remiss at this moment if we didn't bring up something we've been oh. using for years, by the way, and it's changed our lives. And that's the sponsor of today's video. Surfshark! Woo! We've been using Surfshark for years at this point. We can we really can testify to how great it is. It's a VPN or a virtual private network that keeps you safe as you browse because it encrypts all the information sent between your device and the internet. So there's no risk of your personal data being compromised. And if that's not enough, you can also use Surfshark to swap your real life location to a completely new one. Cut to Nova. Okay, so maybe just don't look at the screen too much if you don't want spoilers. But, no spoilers, um, no spoilers. We have been watching so many versions of The Traitors and CTV, which is a Canadian streaming service, has almost every English speaking version of The Traitors. We've been watching New Zealand recently. So if you switch your territory to Canada, you can get The Traitors UK, US, New Zealand, Canada. Oh, you get a lot. So, so useful. So regardless of what country you're in, you can click on Surfshark to change your territory and then you'll have access to all kinds oh. of different shows on Netflix, yep. Hulu, oh. Prime, there's loads of them now. Well, and it's particularly useful if you're like us and you follow Eurovision season mm, because they've yes. got servers in over 100 countries. So now we can watch Estonian telly. <laughs> As another example, if you're at home right now in the United States of America, you can get Surfshark, instantly switch to the UK, and then you get different shows on Netflix like RuPaul's Drag Race. We have personally used Surfshark in the past to get better prices of things like airline tickets, and you can also use it to hide your internet traffic from your ISP. What's more, it's available on all of your devices with unlimited logins. Oh look, there's absolutely no risk in trying Surfshark because they offer a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you're looking for a brand new VPN or just looking to upgrade the crappy one you've already got, then check out the link in the description box below. Yes, using the code NOVIMPIA, you can get three extra months for free. So thank you so much again to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Now, mm. back to things that we were doing in the things earlier. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Mm, sure. Italian. Yes, we're each gonna pick three things we're really enjoying, our favorite things of the moment, and three things that we think, Ew. no thank you. Uh, speaking of which, one of the cats has just done an oopsie doopsie whoopsie poopsie. Which uh, is to be expected if you are familiar stinks. with our channel. <laughs> Fucking stink. <laughs> Every time we start, there's just- The timing. Okay, so I'm gonna start. Immaculate. Okay. I'm gonna start. Fave. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I will okay, just yeah. check. Okay, yeah. Oh my God, ready? Ready for this? Tara Masalata. Oh. oh. I love did it. you last have Tara Masalata? I love it. I love everything about it. Let me, t I'm going to tell you a story now. I do Don't miss Tara Masalata. Did they make veggie Tara Masalata? Ve what the, what would it be? Oh God. Does it normally look like a plate of liquid shit? I don't know. What would that like even imitation. look like? Liquid shit. Okay, so I am not like, I was never super into like Greek food. Not because ah. I w wasn't into it, but because I, I rarely went to a Greek restaurant. Like if you order something like at home, I don't know, pizza. I mean, I'm not like the most adventurous person, but anyway, went to a Greek restaurant. Do you ever went with my parents? No. 
Yeah, well, it was boring, so I'm not surprised you don't remember. <laughs> Greek with Went to a parents. Greek restaurant in Croydon with my parents. There was a giant fish tank. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, and there was like, I don't think they made the taramasalata from the tank. What did I have? Well, probably some veggie taramasalata. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it was. Liquid shit. And I didn't really know what to order. I was just like, oh, I'll have a few bits. And my dad was like, get the taramasalata. I used to really like taramasalata. So I got it and he was like, it is so bad for you. Do not eat this ever again. This was a one-time thing. You will get chlamydia and die. And my father, I think, is generally quite a wise person. I tend to listen. So I never really had it until we went to see Barbie yeah. and we got reservations at the Real Greek. Does anybody care that we're going to be at the highest point in Greece? Seriously. Yeah. And then they served it to me and I was just like, I feel like I liked this. Well, my God. I reinvest, and now that I don't live with my parents and live nowhere near, I'm deciding to eat that a lot more now. You're listening so to the, bad for you. To the psychic and say them, indulge yourself. Indulge yourself as a red devil on my shoulder. It's like I don't. I've got no interest in knowing what is in it. It's like fish. It's like fish, fish. egg, moose. <laughs> I'm not sure that's correct. Yeah, it is. Fish roe. Egg moose, is it? It's like a moose. It's like whipped. It's know. whipped. I just said it's, it's fish. whipped fish, Monica. It is chicken. Taramasalata. Let's do it. Let's go. Taramasalata. Greek food. Having fun. In my mouth. In the gob. <laughs> oh my god. I'm very excited for Halloween. Can you tell? Yeah, I love apparently. this dress. Everyone's asking where this dress is from. Where did you get that? Where'd you get this? Better have the other half of the almond. That was a very easy one to get us in. Yeah. Sorry, don't use that clip out of context. Uh, my first fave is a musical artist. She's quite new and... Uh, Wait, this... let me guess. I don't remember her name, you go. And there seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Okay, <laughs> this was introduced to me when we were in Salem. We were having pre-drinks before we went out in Boston and our friend Kat said, oh, put on that Snow White song. And I was like, excuse me, that's her. Who's that? And she was like, oh my God, have you not heard this? It's all over TikTok. Put on this Snow White song. It's called American Horror Show. Snow Wife? Yeah. Not Snow White. No, that's a joke. It's a pun. What? Is she someone's wife, though? There seems to be no sign of- No, but like, you want her to be. A Snow Wife? Anyway, musical artist, Snow Wife. Her, I think her debut single was called American Horror Show. And that is quite Halloween-y. Um, it's just a great song. She is so cool, this girl. She seems quite young. I don't know how old she is. But she's got a really, really interesting texture to her voice. Kind of like a, a bit of a gravel to her voice. And she, is, is there a little bit of rapping? It's not rapping, it's like, it's like Kesha talk singing, but she can't also really sing. Anyway, this, this song and video is exceptional. And then she recently came out with her debut EP, which was called, I can't remember. She's got a lovely texture to her voice, very soft and creamy, a bit like Tara Masalata. Uh, actually, do you know what? If her voice was a Greek food, it would be Tara Masalata. Or Tzatziki. Quite cool with a bit of an edge. That's very different though. Queen Degenerate, the album is called, the EP. And it's quite a beefy Love EP, that. it's about like seven songs. I really enjoy Fuck. What did you just say? That's a really, really good song on there. And I think that's just had a music video. What and did you just Glow say? is also like a real naughty style, blackout, like off cut. It's, it's so good. She's just so much fun. I really like her. And like her songs are all quite dirty and she makes no apologies about enjoying the pleasure of men and women, which I really enjoy. She's just really fun. Quite like fuck. <laughs> What's the name of the song? Well, for God's sake, how could you market that? But I would recommend you check her out. I think she's really cool. The language is atrocious. Yeah, it um, is quite explicit. That one song, I like that one song of hers though. Me like a this bitch Rocky they I was... got me an American horror show. Oh. 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 Dancing, having fun, making out. Um, That's lovely for you. Thank you for that. Yes. Nice. A nice round palate cleanser there to start us off with. What's your first shitter? My first shitter is people. Um, just people. I'm over them. Oh, I'm over people. Can't be doing with them. Oh, people on social media who just What about the people to, watching this video? Have to scream into the void. Now listen, it does not go over my head that we are sitting here in front of this table. In front of the peoples. Got this table of gum tree. It was real cheap. Okay and we're sort of spouting into the void. But the difference is, this is not serious. 
This is just fruity, frothy, gay, fun times. Tara Masalata. Very fun. Tara Masalata. Let's just talk about a nice <laughs> Greek aperitif. That's lovely. Are you crazy? When it comes to like serious issues. I can issue still smell that shit. When it comes to like real issues, people just screaming into the void. You don't have to voice an opinion. Not everybody wants to hear your opinion, uninformed Barbara. Uninformed if you are a fucking idiot. You do not have to just get on some kind of platform and just... Uh, if uh, you, if there's some trending topic that you don't know very much about, you don't have to wade in and add your uneducated two cents. Sometimes it's okay to be quiet. There are issues going on in the world that are incredibly nuanced. There's a lot there. There's a lot of history. There's a lot going on all over the world. Not just like specific recent times, but the people that have like one viewpoint and they just go off on, on shit without kind of like thinking about both sides, especially if they have like no horse in the race. Do you know what I mean? Just like people are oh, just like, ah, oh, out there with a fucking megaphone just going like, ah. Oh. As you can see, we can't even afford our meds right now. I can't be doing with it. Not the good fine people at the Novimpia Chanel watching this, because no. you know better than that. Yeah. You know better. Yeah. Oh God, you just can't, I can't be doing with it. I don't know, the world seems to be descending more and more into a toilet. <laughs> yeah. And at some point in time, you just take a step back and just think like, I, you, how do you, how do you? I don't know, people. Liquid shit. Wade your Does way through Does man deserve to be Human safe? sewage. What? What? I said what first? No, Lisa, no in casa. <laughs> Does humanity deserve to be? I mean, you know, we're heading no. towards global destruction. Is that we're just better off just letting it? Listen, when it happens, we would have had our. It's it's, it's it would you be know, the right time. People, don't they just irritate you? Okay, okay, what's your first shitter? My first shitter. This is like so trivial and superfluous. But open, if anyone's got any ideas to solve this problem, please let me know. You took the emotion, didn't you? I am so sick. I don't know what's going on. Is it a UK thing? I don't know. I can never fucking get my hands on the kimchi translucent powder. <gasps> it is always where out is of it? stock. I have where a alert set up on Beauty Bay. I don't actually know where else you can buy it in the UK, but it's I stockpile it when it when it's released. It has not been in stock for months. Kim now. Months. Kimberly, where is it? Where can I buy this in the UK? Where is it? I'm sure I could ship it from America, but then you've got to pay shipping and it's just so expensive. Where can I buy this in the UK? Please is it let called me know. Puff Puff Pass? Yes. Translucent powder. Oh, it's excellent it's work. It's so good. Well, of it's course it so is. Good. It's always out of stock because everyone's always purchased it. It's also quite expensive, I think, for the amount that you get, but it's worth it. Like, the oh, it's a rip off. It's just good. <laughs> well, it's not a rip off there because I've never had powder like it. It does work. Um, but Kim, I don't know who's running the show over there. Yeah, mm, like. Look good. Can we get it together? Can we start actually. Or if somebody knows of a shop that like sells it in the UK, please like. Let me know. Just start, just, why don't you sell the product that you make? It's a really essential product in my kit that I've not been able to get for ages now. And like, there's just nothing else like it really. St Kim. Today I'm gonna introduce you to my pet butter. Never mind, I'll find. My next fave. You ready for this? Yes. This is very exciting. Alex Park's Cry. <sighs> okay. Is this isn't like a new thing. My other thing isn't new either, but this is what I'm enjoying at the moment. Okay. So I'm going to talk about it. I like you've been enjoying this ever since the song came out. Yes, I have, but it's had a it's had a renaissance. It you know is a great song. Sometimes a song that you will like, you'll sort of maybe forget about it a bit, and all of a sudden it comes screaming back, and you play it for months yeah. and months. Yeah. Alex Parks is r fascinating to me. Yeah. So she was famous. 2000, early 2000s. Early 2000s. She won the first season. Was there one of these? Or was Two. It, or three, maybe. A Fame Academy. It was kind of like a cross between the X Factor and Big Brother. It was a BBC show. And it was a bunch of aspiring musicians in a house and she won it and she had an album that was like, it may have been like platinum in the UK. It was like a big deal. Yeah. She had two singles, basically. Maybe that's what it took. That was like her winning single, wasn't it? Or like her first single. Yes, and then yeah. Cry was the second one. I don't like Maybe That's What It Takes. I think no. That's a load of poo. But Cry, oh my God, it's so great. Now listen, this is a gift from me to you. Because it's got no views. No one remembers this chick. She dived out. She did a nosedive out of the yeah. music industry. No one really knows what her story is, but she kind of retires on the music industry she and she has no online presence. Like, no nothing. Nothing. She just, I don't know what She's happened to her. She's incredibly gay, visually. Yeah. She's got spiky hair. Yeah. You know, it's the 90s. Nothing wrong with that. Her voice is 
amazing. Talking about like vocal oh. textures, she's got a lovely texture. Talking about to quality and the quality of these curtains. <laughs> I had to do the whole house. This song is so great and her voice is just so powerful and it's just like a lovely song. I like to put it on when I do the cleaning, hmm. which is a bizarre because I feel like when people do the cleaning, it's they're a like, sad song really, isn't it? people want to be like, and girls just want to have fun. And don't, isn't that like a cleaning yeah. song? Strikes me as. Yeah. What do you think? Strikes me as. It's a cleaning song. Cindy Lauper is like cleaning music. I don't put music on when I'm cleaning. Do you think that's like a tag on like HMV website? Clean, she's a cleaning song. No. <laughs> But you understand, but this is really a downer, but it's lovely. <laughs> yeah. It's lo and I listen to it all the time. It's been YouTube like wants to put it on for us. It's like cemented itself inside our algorithm. You could be looking up like, oh, DFS advert. The second it's finished, it's just like Alex Parks comes on like. Dun. It's always like Alex Parks, question mark. Yeah, all right. Alex, pa Alex Parks. Just an Alex Parks. <laughs> Cancel yeah, all not? items. <laughs> Cancel all items. Cancel all items. Unexpected item in bagging area. Remove this item before continuing. God, we're full of piss and vinegar today, aren't we? What's going Apparently. on? There's something in these, are a gas leak. Okay, my next fave Go for it. is a uh, social media influencer, TikTok person. I'm not really on TikTok. I don't, I don't really watch like shorts or reels very often. Um, but this person came to my attention through Instagram reels. And then I found out that they also have a presence on like anywhere that does shorts, mainly TikTok. Her name is Mercury Stardust. And she refers to herself as the trans handyman and she just does these really short videos that explain in a really fun and light-hearted way how to do different DIY things around the house so there's one where she shows how to like put up a uh, picture frame and make sure it's level um, how to tighten the toilet seat because sometimes that comes loose just loads and loads of different random things that are genuinely useful and she's just so fun she's got such a nice energy about it she's so smiley she just makes me smile and even if I'm I don't need to know about what she's doing like I, I don't need the information I just like to watch because I'm just like oh that's really interesting I think she's got a book out or is coming out I just think she's really fun and she's only recently come to my attention so I'm still learning more about her and her career and what she's about but um, I would recommend you check her out I thought she was really cool I got a bit pissy with you the other day do you remember that when this whole thing happened because I put on a few shorts of hers and you just had no interest she put this on and was like this is fascinating look at this and this chick was literally like I mean listen I'm sure she's very I what it was it was some pack in particular that I was just like absolutely gagged I'm sure she's this. incredibly talented like all the all the best to you doll but like Nova was like this is me oh you gotta watch this <laughs> and it was like she was like putting a hook on on the wall and i was like but we don't need we're not doing that we don't need to put a hook. doesn't matter though it's still really interesting but is that interesting though i find it really we don't interesting. need to put a hook up yeah and but i was lying there like stuff you like, made me take my headphones out you watch cooking videos and you've got no intention of making the food oh touche <laughs> there you go <laughs> i feel like i was just really really into what my last fave is and you made me take my headphone out to watch someone put a hook up. You know why I was annoyed though, is because if it was a cooking video, I would have been like, thank you for that gift. But it was a fucking, di I don't give a shit about DIY, apart from we made an animatronic and it's still standing. Very lukewarm reaction to that video. No one watched it. What did you expect? We're not no doing that cared. again. We spent a whole week doing that shit. No one cared, could they? Yeah, the neighbors are gonna absolutely shit their pants when they see it. They're gonna defecate on that drive. I wish every video wasn't just fecal. Liquid shit. So yeah, Mercury Stardust, God. the trans handy man. Damn time. I'm not sure that my last fave I haven't already done, but I'm gonna talk about it again. Because right. we've just we're just creatively bankrupt, isn't it? What you're doing now. Shitters. Yeah. Oh, okay. Apple ID is my shitter. Apple ID. Okay. I don't get what it is. I'm intrigued. This is an extension listen. of iCloud. I don't really understand what it is. What so I don't understand what it is. I don't. Well, if you'd let me finish my point now, but perhaps you'll understand a bit more. <laughs> what do you think about that then? Maybe let me finish. Thank you so much for coming today. So Apple ID. I am replacing my MacBook because. That's the other thing as well. Maybe this should be Apple in general. Okay, I'm replacing my MacBook Pro. Oh, because every hour on the hour, it just restarts itself. Cause it's like, oh, I can't handle this like video you're editing. <laughs> as a little tantrum. I'll be like doing it, then it'll just stop and restart. And it'll be like, oh, do you want me to restore all of the stuff you had open before? And I'm like, of course I fucking do. I didn't ask you to restart, you dickhead. So anyway. It's got a British accent. 
Before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's basically Elizabeth Hurley's voice when it comes up. Oh, hello, darling. Do you like my piquant wit? <laughs> what if I told you that I have the cataclysmic power to give you anything and everything you've always dreamed of? Who are you? Yeah, yes, here again. Today I'm making teramosalata. So, I'll be like, okay, fine, whatever. I'm gonna replace it. So when I went to buy it, uh, the, the new one, which I had to get more like RAM and stuff, I get all of that basically. An upgrade, yeah. Yeah, it was like, oh, you need to sign in with your Apple ID. Okay. So my old email address, I have no, I don't have access to that anymore. It was a university email address. And I was told when I left university, that is yours forever. They took it from me. They fucking, I use that for everything. And they were like, sorry, but it's been 10 years. We're going to take it off you. I was like, excuse me, you told me I had it forever. So that's also a shitter, <laughs> putting that out there. So I had to change my Apple ID. So I tried to like, you can't like log into Apple ID. How do you do it? Where'd you go? I went, it said go into my phone. There's nothing there. I couldn't do it. Yeah, you do. So I found a way to get into it. Dude, just, and then log, I wanted to change my- Just email. log in with your phone. No. And if you've got proper two-factor authentication, you can have a I backup tried... email address. So oh, that's the other bit. I tried, listen to me for a second, please. I tried to change my email to my new one and it was like, sorry, you can't do that, darling. <laughs> I love your impression. And I was like, why? Why can't I do it? Why can't I do it? And they were like, this email that you want to use is your backup email. <laughs> And I was like, okay. <laughs> so I'll get rid of the backup email and I'll switch it for a new one. And then it was like, <laughs> here is your backup email. Would you like to change this? And I was like, okay, yes, but you can't just change it. You need to remove it first and then add a new one. Okay. So I removed it and then that option just dis disappeared. So I couldn't even add a new backup email. It just went, it went, <laughs> you've taken me away. Oh, bye, oh. I couldn't add a new one. So now I've got no backup emails, that's dickens. And then when I went to change it, to the to the new one it was like oh this one's also associated with other apple ids so you still can't have it darling. we're on this for a while so i had to make a new email address for my apple id and the other thing is there's a picture of me on there and i don't like it and i can't change it <laughs> i can't change it and also it doesn't give you the option to change your picture and i don't know when i put this it's such a hang on i have to you're gonna have to show what? everyone talking about when you see this picture look at that look at that is my apple id picture oh my god edit <laughs> <laughs> you are such hard work do you know i tried for about 40 minutes to change it literally that. says edit on top but of i was the doing picture. it on the laptop i wasn't doing it on the phone but also so when in your defense I will say I do not have a lot of experience oh, working with Apple ID on a computer on a Mac, but on my phone, I've never had a single problem with it ever in the history but who, of forever. Where is that picture from? I didn't put that there. Well, it was fucking one of yes. Every, and on my laptop my as well. My picture's lovely. Every time it restarts, that fucking picture comes up of my stupid face. Well, so that's hilarious because if you do your like health card thing, that's the picture that'll be on it. What's a health card? You should set that up. I don't know if it's called health card. If you go onto health... Is that like organ donation? Look, look, look. When your phone's locked... Yeah, that's right. Um, there is a way... You don't even know. So you go on emergency, I think. No, that's called... Oh. Medical ID. Oh my God. And then you what? can put in lots of stuff about yourself. So if anyone... If you have like a, an issue, that can is I... there already straight away. How do I do that on mine? I want to see what I, mine says. Oh, you've I don't have one. set up, yeah. Well, so I've got like emergency, I've got height. emergency contacts. If I collapse, yeah. they could just measure me. Have you made all of that stuff up for for like so you get better care when you get you fall over in the street? No. They'll be like, oh, he's like, if two people fall over, they'll be like, look at his card. He's got all this stuff on there. We'll give him priority treatment. Call injury lawyers for you on 0845. Oh, you should have this because we've got emergency <gasps> contacts. So Am I, I have emergency contact? If I'm like unconscious, someone can just like grab my phone and they'll be able to. I'm your emergency contact. You're one of them, yes. Oh, but I'm the first one. That means I'm yes. the best one. You That's should really sweet. set that up. That was something That's Apple sweet. introduced years ago and it's like a really good feature. But I'm Nova's first contact. That's really sweet. Would you Would be you upset if you that? weren't my first? Would you like your 
shitter please now, next one. We have touched on this before already, but I really want to get into it. Oh my God. Season two of the Australian Traitors. Do you know, I wondered if we you mentioned We that. mentioned it being shit, but I feel like it wasn't appropriate to like have a little rant about it. No, here you go. I will try to do it without spoiling, but the problem with the Traitors season two Australian version is that either none of the contestants had actually watched the show before. Mm. Well, actually, there was one contestant that had watched it before, but she was booted out pretty early on. None of the contestants have watched it before, or they're all just really, like, bad at this game. The bad. level of incompetence, like, just herd mentality in the extreme. No ounce of critical thinking amongst any of them. Traitors succeeding not through skill or wit or smart just because the faithfuls were so bad so bad it was really difficult to watch a lot of people say the finale makes up for the rest of the season the finale for me was the bare minimum to make that even acceptable like i don't think it was enough payoff for how bad that season was it was a real struggle. I will just say, if you're not aware of this, it's a reality show that is all over the world now. There's versions in like so yes. many countries. We're, we're kind of obsessed. We've watched like every English speaking version. Oh, what? We're, we're and watching. a few non-English ones. Yeah. Um, but we, uh, it's, it's like a group of people come together and it's kind of like a wink murder scenario. Some of them are secretly traitors and the rest have to try and get find out who they I are. I think we've had the traitors as a fave last year. Possibly. Yeah. Um, we've also done a podcast about it on the Patron, so this mm. is our little toot toot to go over to the Patron. But the first Australian season, I think, oh, was like best. the best. <gasps> it was so good. So we had really <clears throat> high hopes of the second one, and shocking. You, you just end up shouting at the TV. You just cannot believe. There's no the fun decisions. To it. No, it wasn't fun. It was just like you are so stupid. What are you doing? Uh, there was no enjoyment uh, there at all. We're now watching New Zealand, which is, again, it's better. It's it getting, is better. The, the great thing about the traitors is every single iteration is different. Just mm. based on the cast, it's always different. Uh, but the adding of the celebrities is so stupid. It is the worst yeah, decision. Just for the record, we're very much of the opinion that if you're going to have celebrities, it should be an all celebrity special season. Don't mix them with what? normal people because if there is a cash prize it seems so unethical to have celebrities competing for the same cash prize that members of the general public are competing for and the celebrities don't care as much who, no, they who don't. the fuck who the fuck came up with that idea i just want to yeah, it's weird it's idiotic really weird. okay well going from something which is <clears throat> shite to my last fave of the moment is a british television program feast for the eyes I, I might have done this. I have a pussy on my bed. Do you think I would waste my time on that? On the hotel inspector? Yeah, it's one of those we can watch. Yeah, there We can is. get some food in yeah. and watch that. Yeah, I'm really excited. That would be a lovely evening. That sounds really good. All right, boring. listen, it's Downton Abbey, which is so boring. I feel like you've tried to watch that before, did you? I watched Downton Abbey when it first came out and I was like, I'll give, I watched a lot of it. I may have got to the last season. I know you watched the movie, didn't you? I watched the movie because there's gay stuff in it. Oh. <laughs> So this time round, I was like, oh, you know, and sometimes you like finish a show where you don't you just sit down and you think, oh God, you have that medieval need to have entertainment whilst you eat. Yeah. And you're like, oh, what should I put on? Came up on Netflix and I was like, I'll give that a go again because I seem to quite like it. Well, listen, I'm all in. Oh. I'm at the part now where that flimsy maid, my God, she just like farted her and she'd like fall over. I, I burned the ginger biscuits, my darling. F sake. She's just made out with the, the valet with the bum hip. Okay. Which is lovely. The who was the bum hit? The valet. Valet? Yeah. Valet. He might be not a valet. No, a valet, valet. is someone that parks your car. Valet What's something else. a valet? Else. Well, I don't, I don't- Valet. I don't live there. Don't bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> just love anything like Jane Austen. I'm not like super into period dramas. But there's something about this where like every tiny issue is just like so conflated or like inflated because it's like old times. And it's just like, oh nice. Oh, Lady Lavinia's just like taking a shit in the drawing room. And it'll be like, hold your tongue, maid bitch. I love it. I love it. I <laughs> love your tongue, maid everything bitch. Everything about it. I learned some great slang. Oh, okay. Wait, what did, O'Brien. O'Brien is a miserable cow. God, she's just such a cow. And she said, 
Oh, hang on. G give me a second of silence so I can remember what she said because I'm going to start saying this in everyday parlance. Say to me, oh, oh, are we going to cook tonight? Oh, are we going to cook tonight? How are we do? I don't know how to get rid of... Are we fucking hackers like? <laughs> I really enjoy... Oh, she food. wouldn't have said f the F word though. <laughs> no. Probably not, no. Because they I don't I really swear. enjoyed, this is a little sneak peek at the upcoming Grim Tour. We came across a phrase in that which I've been dying to use. Somebody was described as being financially embarrassed. A lot of the material for the Grim Tour is from old newspaper articles from like the 30s. And they were like, the gentleman was financially embarrassed. That sha. I just love that. She that is got such an unusual phrase that I've never two heard before. Brazos to rub I'm together. I'm actually she. embarrassed. Downton Abbey, give it a go. Oh, I'm so into it now. I love Mary. No, what's she called? Lady Mary and Lady Edith. Mary Portis. No. What is that? Transvestite of the bride. I'd love to see Mary Portis in Downton Abbey. Who would she play? She'd be like head bitch. Sister Mary. No, Lady Mary and Lady <laughs> Lady Edith. They're, they just they're just like such petty. Petty tit for tat. They're sisters and they always try and outdo each other or it's hysterical. Give it a go. It's a very unknown show. I do like period <laughs> dramas, but I like it when they're like a limited series or when it's only like three or four parts. I, I can't be bothered with investing in something as long as Danton Abbey. Because you're stupid. Yes, I am stupid. My, this, this is, this is going to demonstrate that. My last fave is kind of unexpected. I just turned it on just out of sheer curiosity, but I'm really enjoying it so far. The reboot return of Big Brother UK. I knew you'd pick that. This is not something that I've watched in years and years and years. I didn't even watch it that much when I was young. There were maybe a couple of seasons that I remember watching like properly through to the end. And I've dipped in and out of the celebrity one, but generally speaking, I, I'm not like a huge Big Brother fan. I know some people go wild for it, but it's not been on UK television for five years. It's changed broadcaster so many times. I didn't think they really knew what to do with it. I think they kind of lost their way with it and the viewing figures you know, dropped. Someone said that Big Brother is now the first TV show in British history that has had a version on every one of the five major networks. Was it ever on BBC? Well, I didn't think it was, but that's someone tweeted that. This season, I think, is a really interesting cast. It's a really fun cast. There's a real diversity within people of all different backgrounds, ages, genders, cultures. And we're only kind of three episodes in. I think the fourth one is tonight, so it's still very, very early days. But I just think the house is really cool. I'm enjoying seeing the interactions between people. It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm invested and I wasn't expecting to be so. I thought I would just watch it so I could see what everyone was talking about. But I have found myself invested and I am going to watch as much of it as I possibly can. It's another thing as well where I'm always a bit like, oh God, it's on every single day. I don't know if I've got the time for this. It's an hour every single day. But then I forget. <sighs> don't know why I'm tired. I haven't done anything. I like the catch up ITVX. If I ever miss it in the evening, I can just watch it the next Although week. Although ITVX can suck a butt as a part oh, of the app is terrible. The app is terrible. I think that so we like bad. Farida and Yinrin, we like, don't we? And Hayley. Yes, I think that it's very, very refreshing to see something on TV where there is a trans woman simply existing and nobody seems yeah. to have an issue. Everyone's just like, oh, cool. Well, nobody on. has an issue that they've voiced so far. It's also a difficult yeah, thing well, because true. I bet you that transphobia is against the rules. So I think they'd have to be very careful what they say without getting kicked out. It's regardless though, it is nice to just see yeah. a transgender person not be at the point of some kind of the center of a debate where they're literally just there existing. Yeah. There's a few good ones in there. A lot of the women are excellent work. Trish is pretty good. Most of the men are not great. Yeah. Weirdly enough. That's to be expected though, I think in this country. A lot of gay tracks. men, no lesbians. I will say though, I, don't, I think the challenges so far, they've just been rehashes of old shit. Yeah, but you see, I'm not overly familiar with like archival Big Brother. So like, it doesn't really bother me so much. Great use of archival. Oh. My last shitter is drag performers that smell terrible. Previously on the No VP channel. I do apologize if you get a slight whiff from, from myself. Why? Because I forgot to put on deodorant. Now, this is not necessarily a kind of like bitchy slagathon on anyone in particular. Unless your name rhymes with Marmaine, Mime and Might. That took you a while to figure out, which yeah. is so embarrassing for you. You are financially embarrassed. <laughs> Um, yeah, Sha, let's talk about Sha. I mean, the thing is, for me, I think that drag is obviously 
on TV or on YouTube, whatever it is, that's fair enough. But if you go out into the wild and if you are meeting people, it suddenly becomes very, very Watch different. Watch shit. It's very multifaceted. Yeah. And I think that you're not just visual. It's the way that you kind of obviously speak to people, interact with people. And that also includes the way you fucking smell. Yeah. I will never be glam. Go out into the wild in drag without making sure everything that I've worn, yeah, wash your fucking clothes. Washed, yeah. Wash your clothes. Wear a shit ton of deodorant. I forgot to put on deodorants. I forgot to put on deodorants. I forgot to put on deodorants. I think get a perfume, perfume, get a fragrance. goes so far for like the whole experience. Doesn't have to be expensive. Wear a no. fragrance of some description and I will never leave the house without like smints in my purse. Yeah, you I have to. Don't. You have to. Especially because drag is so social. You very rarely get into drag and just sit there and don't say anything. And if you talk and talk and talk, then like you, your breath's gonna smell terrible. Take a fucking smint, brush your teeth. Your breath stinks, be clean to teeth. And in my, in my exa history or whatever, um, it's only ever been drag queens. I've never had this issue with the drag kids. That's mostly, interesting. Mostly drag queens. That's interesting. Uh, who uh, unfortunately have this. Um, there's a, you know, it happens way too often that you'll speak to someone and they'll just smell terrible. And you just think like, I understand. Drag is, takes a massive toll on your body. You sweat yeah. more because you have so many layers on. You're talking a lot. Like it really wears you down. But this is my public And we're not service. talking about people that have just done like the most high energy performance on stage and then immediately come off and are sweating their not. ass off. Of course We're not. talking about the people that smell bad before they've even done that. But when they're waiting to go on stage, that yeah. it irks me, no end. Buy some Tic Tacs, please. Buy a night, buy some Altoids or whatever it is. It just drives What's me mad. Altoids? You asked me that the other day. It's just like a mint drives me mad because then you make the rest of us look bad don't you think there's so many there's literally about five people i can think of specifically yeah and it just i don't want to ever go and uh, bless them they're such lovely people and they'll be like oh my god nice to see you kiss on the cheek and i'll be like, like, oh. like hold your breath hold your breath oh, what do you do about that <laughs> because you can't tell someone politely that they smell terrible can you ever do that it depends on your relationship i don't know it just feels very elitist on my part but like brush your teeth yeah. I will never, especially like at drag con as well. If you're going to sit there and have people come up to you and you're going to be talking to people all day long, take mints with you. I beg Little you, Little spritz of perfume. I beg you. And breath mints goes a long way. I beg you. All right. That goes for you as well. My last chitter ties in with my last fave. We very, very rarely watch actual television as it airs. We mostly watch streaming services like Netflix or Prime. So it's interesting when there is a show on television that we want to watch that we're like, oh, TV commercials are a thing. <gasps> oh, I'm so glad you did this. Very, very different breed of advertising than online commercials. It's very different to like YouTube commercials, very different kind of advertising. It's so brain smoothing, mind numbing. It's aggressive. It's so aggressive. It's just absolutely heinous. I struggle to describe it. It's just that the, I, I guess that they're so eager to get your attention and they have to try and stand out from everybody else. But some of them are just so egregiously awful, annoying, dreadful. Really, really stressful actually. There was, I can't remember what it was advertising. <laughs> See, this is, it, it's just bad advertising because I purposefully Makes looked me away. actively avoid the brand. I the can't product. remember what it was, but it was a guy singing a cover. I think covers. Oh yeah. But you when changed they changed the, the lyrics. lyrics. Oh, to be about it. the product. That's hate so it. irritating to me. We said this though, didn't we? We were like, wow, this has really reminded us why we don't watch British TV because every 15 minutes you're subjected to this assault. I have to say the actual ad breaks are not as bad as American ad breaks. That I find, I find much more bearable, but the commercials are comparably horrific. There was one that we saw, and I can't remember what it was advertising, so it clearly wasn't that good, but with the old ladies. I quite liked that, that made us laugh. That but it was, was very so good. simple. That was it the was Morrison's so Cafe advert. Was it? I mean, obviously we do sponsored segments, but yeah. when it's kind of like, it's, I don't know, like slow, and it's not like we're j jamming our faces in the camera and being like, look at this thing we've got to give you immediately. La la la, <laughs> la la la. <laughs> Toblerone or whatever it is. Oh, we should get some Toblerone. 
Maybe that's a bit of successful advert for our viewers because they're now <laughs> going to be like, oh, I, we should get a Toblerone. <laughs> la, la, la. I'd like to thank you for coming for today's visual treat. <laughs> Happy Halloween. Feel um, free to comment about how cute we look. I think we look so you cute. You can't say that. Yeah, you can. I don't know when this is coming out, but this is the same weekend that the Grim Tour of Bournemouth Part 3 is going to be there. Bournemouth and Paul also, this time. a reminder that last year we did a found footage horror movie. The whole thing is on YouTube. It's called Hoax if you want to go back and watch that. Yes. Very, very good. And we have a Patreon with exclusive CAC that you might visit, the address for which will be on screen just now. <laughs> what you gonna do with all that ash? Did I get you? Why'd you bother? Did I get you? Sure. Yeah. Some of the guys over there get birthday shout outs, don't they, Nova? Including. I wondered when you were going to start speaking then. It was like a, a pregnant pause. Yeah, but I'll, it gets cut together, doesn't it? So, hey, we didn't know. You're supposed to not talk about it. Where's the professionalism? I forgot to put on deodorants. Some of them get birthday shout outs, including. But not limited to. Oh, why are there pumpkins all of a sudden on the table? <laughs> For the end of the faves and shitters. That doesn't make any sense. Um, for October 18th, happy birthday to Morgan. Happy birthday, Morgan. For the 20th, it's Dartellum. Dartellum's a great name. Dartellum. Dartellum. That sounds very Shakespearean. And Matty the Bear, happy birthday happy to birthday, you Happy birthday, well. Matty. On the 21st, we've got a few birthdays. Um, so happy birthday to Sarah. Happy birthday to Chris. Happy birthday to Pooper Scooper. Pooper you three, yes. And also for the 21st, Hart and Kate. Happy birthday to you too. We've also got a Twitch. We do, yes. Gaming. Yeah. Gaming stuff. Yeah. Playing games. Having fun. I'm playing Scorn at the moment. It's it's a real brain scratcher. Head scrap head scratcher. Brain teaser. Certainly the top ten. <laughs> Top 30 <laughs> games of our time. This ring is cutting off circulation from my fat finger. Oh, that is lasted here. <laughs> and a very sexy serving of Tara Masalata to our newest patrons, Julie Kosh, Kevin, Archer Back, Fisty Cuffs Carl, and Ellis Erson. I am going to choose to spend the time over the title card to say that that is body shaming. Nova has just said, oh yeah, it cuts off your finger and it's elasticated. Wow. Wow. Join the Patron. We'll do a shot of Patron. Creature.